Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun filled video, I'm gonna go down memory lane once again as I show you guys another model train set that I had during childhood, and it is the Lionel. Thomas the Tank Engine O-Gauge Train and Train Set. Here is Thomas himself. He's got a nice smile on his face. He's ready for the journey, but really, really cool. Greatly detailed by Lionel. His cab roof comes off in case you want to put any people in it to make it look like they're driving Thomas. He's in great condition to be around 20 to 25 years old. I took care of all my stuff as a kid. I wasn't very destructive. Being an only child, I took care of everything and kept everything nice. But really, really cool. Great condition. Lionel still makes this set. I remember this set finally because the box, it came in folded out once you took the styrofoam out and you could lay the oval of track on it and it made it look like the island of Sodor where Thomas and all his friends live. I am a huge Thomas fan. I love the history and the lore of the railway series books which the Thomas show is based on. I go back and read a lot of that when I have some downtime or something. But really, really cool. Really amazing. This set came with a car that I'll show you once we move the camera and Thomas's faithful coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, and they are both greatly detailed as well. And both of their roofs also come off, so in case you want to put something in there like some people or just trinkets for Thomas to haul around. But really, really cool. The only gripe I've had with this set, and I love it and I've got hours of enjoyment out of it, is the coupling system. Lionel usually produces some great couplings, and these look just like they're kind of like maybe injected and molded one-piece couplers and they do not hold on very well. If Thomas is going up a little hill or a grade on your layout, he has a tendency to uncouple from his coaches and it's only the Annie and Clarabelle that he unconnects from. All of my other cars that I've hooked to Thomas, he holds on to them faithfully throughout his trip and it's just something that I'm unsure why Lionel went that route. I just went up to the official Lionel train store in Concord Mills Mall in Concord, North Carolina a couple weeks ago and they had Thomas on their display layout and they had the couplers duct tape together. I've done that sometimes just putting a piece of electrical tape to make it look black and all like the couplers but I'm just curious why if Lionel is aware of the issue why don't they just remedy it with newer sets and put better couplers on but enough of that. Let me get Annie and Clarabelle and Thomas here. Move the camera over to our loop we have out here in the workshop for right now. Get him on the track and let him run a while. All right, over here at the little loop we have set up temporarily in the workshop, I have Thomas and his coaches here. And as I said, this set also came with a flat car painted Sodor Island Blue. And this is for Harold the Helicopter. Harold is one of Thomas's friends, and he was a little die-cast helicopter that came with this set. Unfortunately, I don't have him with the set. He is packed away with my Thomas die-cast I had as a kid, and I think I know right where he's at, but it would have been a whole lot of moving things and everything to get him out just to put him here for the video, but I do still have him. But this car has the traditional Lionel couplers with the little clip here that unlocks and then locks back and really grabs on. It came with the Thomas set, so I do not know why. This one has the nicer coupler, and then Thomas and Annie and Clarabelle have those cheap one-piece ones. I do know that Lionel is aware of this. Again, they had tape on the Thomas at the Lionel store in Concord. What we're going to do is get him on track here. Annie always goes first behind Thomas. And then Clarabelle. And I'm going to try to let him run without putting tape on the couplers. But if he does come undone from his coaches, we will stop him and add a piece of tape to it and let him continue his journey. Now that he's on track, we'll give it a little bit of power from the transformer. Starts right up. Real smooth runner. Let him go around seven or eight times. Tons of childhood memories right here. As you can see, he's doing great on the basic loop.
And surprisingly, he's not letting go of the coaches that he usually does. When I was a kid, he would always let go of them. And I would add a piece of electrical tape to blend in with the couplers. But really, really awesome. He also does not have a whistle or anything. This is it right here. But it was more than enough for me as a kid. And hours of and hours of enjoyment came from it. Awesome. Thomas the Tank Engine. And that is my Thomas the Tank Engine Lionel O gauge train set that I've had since childhood. And I'm so happy to see that it's still running great after all these years. It fills me with so many childhood memories and nostalgia when I see it run down the line. Really, really awesome. What I'm going to do now is pack all the train stuff and move it into the train room to get it out of the dusty workshop and start setting that up and getting that. And I hope to also document that for you guys on film as well. Once I really get going with it, I want to do the initial setup off camera, but then document everything else on camera. But really, really cool. I'm so glad that set still runs. Again, as a kid, about every time I ran it, Annie and Clarabelle would come uncoupled from Thomas and I would just take a little strip of electrical tape and put it on him to hold everything together and then I had hours and hours of enjoyment watching him go around and around I'd hook other coaches to him in cars and all but really really amazing I've always had fun with that set and it always puts a smile on my face to see him running great but really really cool really really amazing if you guys are curious how long I've been a fan of Thomas and friends check this out My pops made this for me for my fourth or fifth birthday, and it's been with me ever since. I just found it while cleaning up in one of the other storage buildings, and it was dusty and grimy. It's got a few dings on it. I have cleaned it up some, but I want to go back and touch it up and take that into the train room as well and hang it on the wall. Just as a memento to my childhood, but really, really cool. I've always been a fan of Thomas. From childhood, the Talking Trains was interested, but now as an adult, I can go back and reread read the Railway Series books, which everything is based on, and learn more about it that I may have missed as a kid. And I can also read about the production of the Model Series era of Thomas. Seasons 1 through 4 will always be my favorites, but really, really cool. Really, really amazing. Keep those childhood memories near and dear, everyone. Don't never let them slip away. That's about all for this one. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate, and me and Thomas will see you guys real soon.